Hi, my name is Tim Gallaudet. I'm a retired admiral from the U.S. Navy, and I also served in the government leading an agency called the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And, uh, and I was a career oceanographer and have a Ph.D. in the field. And what led me to be interested in anomalous phenomena started with my time serving as the superintendent of the U.S. Naval Observatory. And I had a team of astrophysicists whose job was to catalog star positions for satellite navigation purposes. But it taught me a great deal about the universe and the size of the universe and how, uh, how, incredible, uh, how incredibly large in scale and time uh, existence is. And the fact that uh, the possibility that we're not alone just occurred to me. I mean, anybody who studies cosmology uh, happens across that question. And so with that in my mind, uh, at the time when I was serving as an admiral, a one-star admiral in, in the Pentagon, I had another job where I reported to the fleet forces commander and one day when my sailors were involved with an exercise with the USS Theodore Roosevelt, a uh, well-known UAP uh, incident, uh, I received a SIPRNET email, a secret internet email, the DOD uses the secret internet, from my boss, a two-star admiral, to all the subordinate admirals under him. And he asked if there anyone knew what these UAPs were, what their source were, because they were causing urgent safety of flight concerns. and. Uh, they were having to cancel the exercise, possibly. And he attached the video of the well-known and now leaked Go Fast video from that exercise. And uh, seeing that on a government uh, email chain re made me realize this something was real here. And weirdly enough, the next day, that email was removed from my, my system and everybody who received it. And no one ever talked about it again at the command, which I could not believe. So that all put those two together and I, I knew that anomalous phenomena weren't a hoax, aren't a myth, they are real and we need to better understand them. Well, I really believe in, in the, the mission of SCU because we really do need to understand better uh, the nature of anomalous phenomena, UAP. Uh, e there's two things, either they represent off-world technology, which we should absolutely be interested in and want to learn more about for potentially life-saving, planet-saving applications. At the same time, if it's not that, it represents a national security concern, which we should care about you know, as well. So really the goal of SCU trying to advance understanding of UAP and anomalous phenomena, I think is very worthy, very relevant, and there might not be a more important issue in our modern times today. I do. I really think the fact that scientists are now coming together to examine and study in a disciplined scientific nature, UAP is, is incredibly important. I mean, think about this. In the 16th and 17th century, we experienced what is now known as the scientific revolution. Well, when we think about what these UAP might represent, this will make the scientific re revolution look like baby steps. Uh, so this is absolutely important for scientists to get together and study. I really, I really think the AAPC is an important event because as with any kind of scientific d discipline, science advances when colleagues come together, share results, uh, data, information, and have discussions to generally advance the field. So this happens in my field of oceanography and other areas I've studied or worked in like hydrography, meteorology, and astrophysics. And it so applies to anomalous phenomena as well. Uh, e even more compelling is the fact that UAP are so little studied that the, the reason to have such a conference is even more, that much more compelling.